Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. ServiceNow is a cloud-based workflow automation platform that enables enterprise organizations to improve operational efficiencies by streamlining and automating routine work tasks. ServiceNow is one of those rare platforms that can show a rapid return on investment and continue to deliver strong value as the organization expands its use into different domains. ServiceNow makes the job easier for the employees of multiple organizations. It is being used by industries of different types like consumer goods, education, financial services, healthcare, technology, and telecommunications, etc. Companies like Coca-Cola, T-Systems, Vodafone, and many more drives the digital transformation in their organization with ServiceNow. Before I talk about ServiceNow further, let's see the agenda of this session. We will start with what is ServiceNow. Then we will see who is a ServiceNow developer? Then we will see what are the roles and responsibilities of a ServiceNow developer. Then we will see what skills are required to become a ServiceNow developer. Then we will see if ServiceNow is a good option for good career growth. And last, not the least, how to become a ServiceNow developer. So let's start with the first topic. What is ServiceNow? ServiceNow is an American software company that provides a cloud-based workflow automation platform to help companies to manage digital workflows for enterprise operations and automating routine tasks. ServiceNow provides applications and modules which are used to manage the tasks of different areas like IT, customer service, security, HR, and core business areas. ServiceNow started with services related to IT, but later expanded their footprints into HR, finance, customer service, legal, and recently into telecommunication and manufacturing. In IT, ServiceNow provides applications like ITSM to manage incident change problem processes. It also has applications like PPM called as Project Portfolio Management to manage projects and portfolios. In other areas, it provides applications like CSM which is Customer Service Management and HRSD called as HR Service Delivery to manage customer service requests and HR services respectively. So let's see all the products provided by ServiceNow. IT Service Management, IT Operations Management, IT Asset Management, DevOps, Security Operations, Governance Risk and Compliance, Telecommunications Service Operations Management, Operations Technology Management, HR Service Delivery, Workplace Service Delivery, Legal Service Delivery, Procurement Service Management, Safe Workplace Suite, Customer Service Management, Field Service Management, Financial Operations Management, Healthcare and Life Sciences Services Management. With these different products, employees like agents, leaders, management of different business units in organizations can manage their tasks in ServiceNow platform effectively. I hope now you have some idea about ServiceNow. So let's move to another topic and see who is a ServiceNow developer. A ServiceNow developer is an individual 
who is responsible for working to develop, design and own technical solutions on the ServiceNow platform. ServiceNow developer enhances the features of different modules in ServiceNow platform and create the applications for business with the help of programming language and configurations provided by ServiceNow platform. ServiceNow developer will provide administration, application development, maintenance and technical support by using good practice web programming techniques to configure robust solutions to the client utilizing the ServiceNow platform. ServiceNow developer works with different teams, understand the business requirement and convert them into solutions by implementing in ServiceNow. ServiceNow developer is also responsible for quality anal analysis, testing, debugging and creating user documentation. Now you know who is a ServiceNow developer. So let's see our next topic, roles and responsibilities of a ServiceNow developer. Responsibility of a ServiceNow developer is not limited to programming. Actually, a ServiceNow developer supports the whole release cycle from requirement gathering till production deployment and post-production support. ServiceNow developer gathers the requirement from clients and customers and perform the analysis for the feasibility of the requirement. Another responsibility of ServiceNow developer is to translate the business requirements into well-architected solutions technical solutions. ServiceNow developer collaborates with ServiceNow architects to make sure approach solution is following the right standards. They also collaborate with ServiceNow administrators or operations team to provide support for production issues encountered after any implementation performed on the platform. The main responsibility of ServiceNow developer is to perform development in lower environment of ServiceNow platform and perform configurations as per the requirement or documented solution. ServiceNow developer also build a new custom applications as per best practices. Now quality is something which is needed everywhere. And that's why ServiceNow developer also needs to make sure that developed functionality or application is tested properly and goes to production with quality. Now, these are the roles and responsibilities of a ServiceNow developer. However, it also depends that what kind of responsibility an organization decides for ServiceNow developer. As some organizations club architect and developer, some organizations allow developers to get admin access on prod and support end users directly. But majorly, these are main responsibility of a developer. Now let's see what are the skills required to become a ServiceNow developer. And the first skill is communication. ServiceNow developer should have a good communication skill so that he can have interactive conversation with clients and articulate the solutions as per the requirement provided by clients. ServiceNow developer should be able to explain the technical features in business language. Next skill is analytics. So this skill is required for a ServiceNow developer. A ServiceNow developer should have analytics mindset so that he can understand the business requirement and design the better solution. Now next and the most important skill is development skill. ServiceNow developer should know how to implement the technical solution in ServiceNow instance. ServiceNow developer should know the approach a developer can follow for implementing the robust solution on the platform. ServiceNow developer should also know scripting in JavaScript language in ServiceNow. ServiceNow is already trying to enable low and no code development. However, scripting is still needed to achieve lot of complex requirements. Next skill of a ServiceNow developer is problem solving. 
ServiceNow developers should be able to identify and troubleshoot the issues encountered in the platform. They should be able to provide answers to the queries of end users about the platform as well. Now, these are the skills required to become a ServiceNow developer. So let's move to another topic in which I will talk about if ServiceNow is a good option for good career growth for freshers and experienced IT professionals. Now, the answer to this question would be yes. ServiceNow is a great option for great career growth. I know that this answer yes will not be enough to understand this. So let's see what are the reasons which will make ServiceNow as a good career option. So starting with the first reason that is high demand. ServiceNow is in the market since 2012 and it is keep on expanding its capability or to automate tasks and activities for different business areas, which has pushed the organizations to consider ServiceNow as a required platform. And today, ServiceNow is in high demand from small scale to large scale enterprises, which has eventually increased the demand for ServiceNow experts who can easily handle all the functionalities of ServiceNow. The next reason is highly paid skill. ServiceNow is a niche skill in the market these days. As it is in high demand, organizations are paying a decent amount of salary for ServiceNow developers. Next reason is different roles to choose from. ServiceNow is not limited to one option. When it comes to roles as you can become a ServiceNow administrator, a ServiceNow developer, a ServiceNow architect, product owner, process consultant, tester, and many more. You just need to get the knowledge and certification course for different modules in ServiceNow and apply for different roles in the market. So let's move to our final topic of this session, how to become a ServiceNow developer. There is no prerequisite to have a degree for becoming ServiceNow developer. However, companies definitely demand for computer science or information technologies degree like BE, BTech, BSc or BCA. In order to start as a ServiceNow developer, you should first get basic knowledge of the platform that what is ServiceNow? What are the technologies used to build ServiceNow? What are different applications in ServiceNow and how exactly they work? How different elements of platform like tables, forms and fields configured in the platform? How you can perform administration in the platform? How end users use ServiceNow platform? Once you will understand how basic administration is done in ServiceNow, then you can focus on scripting and development. And that scripting is done in JavaScript programming language in ServiceNow. So in order to perform development in ServiceNow, you should have a good knowledge of JavaScript programming. However, ServiceNow provides different elements which can be configured and developer can also write scripts in those elements to add different features in the platform. You can learn JavaScript from an online website called Code Academy, which provides free JavaScript course, and you can learn JavaScript programming language. Now, ServiceNow has an online portal that is developer.servicenow.com, which is the best resource for learning ServiceNow development. You will find a lot of content for learning ServiceNow development on this portal. You can also watch our video for ServiceNow development full course in nine hours. You can find the link at the top or in the description. Now ServiceNow also provides paid trainings and certifications for learning ServiceNow development like scripting in ServiceNow, certified application developer, service portal training. Now all these trainings will help you to become a successful ServiceNow developer. However, I really think that free content available online is also enough to become successful developer. The only additional thing is, which is very important is practice. 
practice makes a man perfect so once you have basic knowledge of service now administration and development keep practicing service now in personal developer instance which is available for free for everyone I hope now you have better understanding of how to become a ServiceNow developer and whether to choose ServiceNow as a career option or not. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.